Chelsea, but there's inconsistency in that mix as well. It could be anything here today, and it could be everything. This is the way they are lining up. Leeds first of all. One Aussie back for Leeds, Aidan Caesar in the halves. His role given extra significance given the absence of another Aussie, Blake Austin. And the ex-Wigan forward James McDonald comes back into the second row after injury. Ryan Hampshire, what a headline this boy could make today. I say boy, he's very much a man, making his second debut for Wigan after recently re-signing for the club, his first debut 10 years ago in 2013 in an absolute humdinger against Witness. So they'll be hoping, we'll be hoping it's another humdinger as well today. Liam Marshall out there on the wing as well, a Challenge Cup headline maker last week. This is one of the potential razzle-dazzlers today, Bevan French. Whether he's scoring them or making them, he often catches the eye. Leeds will be looking to close him down. Chris Kendall is our referee. Tom Grant, the video referee. Jonathan Roberts and Warren Turley running the lines. It is as traditional and high pedigree as the Challenge Cup can serve up. Wigan against Leeds, the ball is hoofed towards that Lewis Jones stand and it's immediately a tester there for Caesar to catch. So what are we expecting here? Alongside us, the England skipper, Jody Cunningham, and once upon a time, the Welsh wizard, Jonathan Davis. What are we expecting here? Yeah, Dave, it's going to be an exciting one. I think the stage is set today for us to have an absolute classic Challenge Cup match. I think last week's game had everyone scratching their heads as to what happened to Wigan in that second half, and that's going to give Leeds so much confidence today that they can turn this Wigan side over if they really need to. Yeah, it's a great stadium, you know, Brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. Good travelling away fans by Wigan. Interesting last week's game. Don't think it'll mean much today, but I think it's a big onus on both number sevens today with the standoffs uh, being ruled out. So, great, great match in store. Leeds through their first set. The kick down field and Miski on the return. The Lebanese international. And 15 metres away from that halfway line is where he will start. The ball has been lost. Miski complaining that it was stolen, but a big early boost for Leeds here. Yeah, Leeds are going to be really happy with that one. First carry for Wigan, so really good set from Leeds. First carry from Miski then. He just doesn't quite keep hold of the ball. There's an argument there that this possibly hands in. But it is his responsibility to keep hold of the ball there, and Leeds are going to be really happy to get some good territory early on in this game. Well, first half last week, they didn't get much good territory at all in the first half. They are looking for a faster start to here, and here is a potential for just that. Morgan Gannon, nominally in the standoffs role today. Jared O'Connor out of dummy half. Tom Holroyd, the recently anointed England player, up towards the 20. O'Connor, south stand below us in terrific voice now, with early enthusiasm. Myla to dummy half, it looks like, I think it's Gannon who down, yeah. is injured. Well, back to that in just a second, but back it comes for McDonald. Nenny McDonald with a footwork. Wigan's defence is good enough. Still loads of tackles in the bag here. Step back on the inside, oh, he's OK. He's OK. Almost a try scorer. Back it comes. Now it's Caesar. Caesar with a miss out pass. McDonald steps in. Wigan's defence is good enough. Miski hanging on for dear life. Yeah, it's and good defence there by Wigan. You know, not much threat there, not much creativity from Leeds. You know, one up plays. Little half break by Gardner, but very, very comfortable defending by Wigan. Well, he's OK as Gannon, as you saw. So back to where we were, Toby King looking to carry it out. These are hard yards for Wigan in these early stages. Yeah, it's really tough. And actually, Leeds probably won't be too disappointed with finishing that set. Just down in the corner, it means Wigan have got to work really hard and go the full length of the field. And it's tough in this heat. They're going to have to work hard and Leeds are going to try and back the defence. John Wilkin mentioned in, in the build-up to this game that it's quite a passive defence from Leeds and they're going to be wanting to fix that up and try and get some real line speed on this Wigan side. 
Here's Farrell. Five tackles gone. Halfway line barely reached. So it's down to the boot of Harry Smith to put it high. Myler's underneath it. Normally a safe pair of hands and ears, and immediately looking to launch something here through Olfertz, who was there in support. But Wigan's defensive line is up there quickly enough. Rowan Smith, the Leeds coach, arrived at this club just about this point last year and got them to a grand final. Hoping for more shots at silverware this year. I think the boys uh, just showed what a great, confident kicker Smith is. The Leeds will have to close him down, you can't give him that time. Terrific spiral bomb there, great take with the full-back, Myler. Tough stuff in these early stages, as you would expect. O'Connor had a dummy half again. Leeds progressing, but slowly. Now it's with Cam Smith. Smith trying to pick a path through that muscly maze of Wigan defenders, but on tackle five, he has to stop there, and Leeds will have to play here. Aidan Caesar with a kick, French underneath it. Oh, I think it's hit Myler's head and out of play. Well, I don't think the header was in the, the playbook. That's great pressure by Myler, though. I thought the kick was a little bit too far. Just watch it. He just holds out, times it perfectly, doesn't commit, just gets in the eye line of French. Well, I tell you what, that makes Bevan French think for the rest of yes. the game now, doesn't yes. it? Yes. It does. Putting a question mark in the fullback's head early on in the game is it, brilliant for Leeds because that's exactly what you want. Next time that ball goes up, he knows that there's going to be a real good kick chase that's going to make catching that ball really difficult, especially with the sun. That makes it even more difficult when you're catching those high balls at the back. Ward will just be on the halfway line. Wigan pick up and move it to Farrell. There are not many people in support there, but Farrell, well, normally a steady customer and a sturdy customer, but forced back by that intensity of Leeds defence. This is Shorrox. He's been playing at standoff in the last few weeks. Not an entirely dissimilar role no. in the loose forwards position today. Powell had a dummy half at Collard early. So here's Harry Smith, last play in this set for Wigan. He puts it up in the air to Smith. Where's this coming down? There's a cluster of limbs there. I think Farrell got hands to that, knocked Not it gone, forward. Yeah. And when Myler picks it, that's where the tackle count will start. I think it's just simple at the moment, just testing each other out, nothing fancy. You know, just get the yard, he's got a good kick in and try and force an error in the opposition half. Barely recognise a raising of a heartbeat when you see Matty Pete in matches. He just looks on rather patiently as Leeds find themselves through Harry Newman and get another set here. It's the first restart of the tackle count because of Wigan's over involvement in the tackle and Ethan Havard is holding his wrist here yeah. and this will be a worry for Wigan. Oh, that looks nasty. I think it's elbow, isn't it? Meanwhile, Leeds carry on against what is now a 12-man defence. This is brilliant from Cam Smith. Eventually hauled down. O'Connor's in a dummy half again. I don't think Caesar wanted it. Then he holds his hands up and says he did. But it's with Oletsky. Oletsky tries to burst through. Wigan hanging on. It's a penalty for Leeds. Penalty for Leeds for offside against that Wigan defence. You know, Smith has, uh, has made a big impact in the game so far. A couple of times he's had the ball, beaten a couple of defenders, looking for the offload. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of an, a nasty one, that one for Ethan Havard. He just quite, he just got his elbow in the wrong place, didn't he? But then Lee's capitalised off the back of that with a brilliant run from Cameron Smith. He had support there on his outside but didn't quite find it, but it's good to see that Ethan Havard's being looked after there. Doctor on field, so obviously we stop play and make sure that the player's welfare's looked after there. Well, you'd, you'd suspect from the look of that that yeah. that's his game gone. Big blow. And, and given they're missing the likes of Mike Cooper, Brad Singleton, there's some, there's some big boppers missing from that Wigan middle. So Leeds have a chance here to take advantage of this situation. Here's O'Connor eventually. That slow play the ball from Gannon. Big effort here, talking about big boppers. Oh, oh, has he gone over to score? He's claiming it. Tom Holroyd had no right to get over the line.
but he might just have done it. He's had a huge start, you know, he's, he burst first time he had the ball, he's been putting pressure on, quick and big hits, he's really, really made an impact. Now, so early on the game, just run hard, single man, just that's definitely a try. Yeah, it's fantastic play there. Just a will and a desire to get over the line, and we're going to be disappointed. They don't concede too many tries. As bash overs, you usually have to work hard to score points against this Wigan defensive effort, but there they'll be a little bit disappointed with that one, but all credit goes to Tom Holroyd there and his will and desire to get over the line for Leeds. Well, we talked about the razzle-dazzle, sometimes the more prosaic approach gives you the dividends. And Leeds with just that honest drive down at the middle, have the lead, and Rhys Martin, the Papua New Guinean international, adds the two, and Leeds lead here by six points to nil. Yeah, they've started very well. This is simple. Wigan, as Jody said, Wigan will be disappointed with that. That is soft defence, passive defence. Just a one man to run over from, you know, the first pass. Disappointed, but as the boy said in studio, Leeds in the second half last week run really, really hard. And I think they've got that same approach. They've started very well. Quick start from Leeds. Who'd have thought? Maybe this just rattles them a little. They're not used to these quick starts, relatively speaking. No, the youth, this season they seem to have been a second-half team, don't they? And that'll give them confidence. If they can go in at half-time and have a decent scoreline against this Wigan side, they know what they're capable of doing in the second half. So this will definitely breed confidence within this Leeds side. Just in context, they've been behind at half-time of Leeds in 10 of their 12 Super League games this year. 74 points scored in first halves, 167 points scored in second half. So you don't see why that should happen, especially when you're playing at home. You should, you know, really come out of the blocks. It's a game of two halves, Jiffy. <laughs> Here comes Olfertz, who is just beyond the 30. Leeds beating with confidence at the moment. Wigan just needing to get themselves into this game. And Wig struggling. Yeah, I think Wigan's line's been at the moment not great, just allowing the big fours to carry the ball exceptionally well. Here's a kick from Caesar. He's behind a 40, but that's all academic because it's an easy take for Bevan French. Can't give him too much room, otherwise the step comes into play. Marshall. Hero last year in the semi-final with a long-range try against St Helens and. Hero in the final with a late try against Huddersfield. Smithies taking Wigan into Leeds territory. They've not had a lot of time here. Oh, and Ellis has dropped it. Ellis has dropped it, picked up by Caesar. And Leeds have it back again. Mistake ridden at the moment. Yeah, Kate Ellis there just doesn't quite secure the ball as he goes into contact. And it is ferocious defence from this Leeds defensive line and now Wigan giving a little bit of their own there. Ryan Hampshire getting stuck into that one. It looks like it's going to be a really tough game and a battle in the middle. Yeah, a couple of mistakes from Wigan have given a, you know, Leeds a field position. They've had seven plays of balls in the Leeds uh, Wigan 20 metre area and Wigan haven't had any yet. They've had no territory, no possession in the Leeds half. Well, we expected a, a reaction from Wigan yes. after last week. The reaction is actually coming from Leeds to the way they played in the first half last week. It's a massive improvement on that Super League game's opening 40 minutes from Leeds' point of view. Here's Cameron Smith making things happen again. One play to go. Yeah. O'Connor at dummy half. It's with Caesar. Caesar puts it back. Myler's chiming in. McDonald for the line. Wigan defenders are there in numbers. Good defence. Again, the Leeds finishing in the perfect area of the field. Yes, they would like points, but that patience to just finish with the ball right pinned in that corner. Now we're going to have to work really hard and Leeds can condense that defence and get up with line speed just as they are doing now. It just allows them to still keep control even though they're not putting points on the board. This French with a dummy half and trying to make things move again here. From Wigan's point of view. It's great defence again. Oh, God, they're going nowhere. Leeds are just absolutely in their faces oh, at the moment, but suddenly there's a touch of brilliance 
right down the middle. Step back on the inside again. Eventually the defence comes in, but wonderful from Wardle. And now they have a bit of a footing to build on here. Back with Wardle again, Wardle who made it all happen from the start, <laughs> and he's threatening to finish it. They've covered 90 metres and Wardle has covered 60 of those himself at the moment in this set. Smith back on the inside, Ryan Hampshire with the touch and the carry. Hunted down by McDonald and dragged down. Five away with one play to go. Wigan seat left, French with a little dab kick, takes a touch, was that a knock-on? No, the referee says play on, and Leeds have it back again. Again, good scramble by Leeds, great break, first of all, by Wall, but he had no support. I thought that Le you know, I thought that Wigan would finish that off. But now it's Leeds' turn to have to do the tough stuff. As Jody was saying earlier, getting out of your own 10 metres, Wigan found a magical way to escape last time. Can Leeds find something similar here? Olfords in, held up, down. Quick play the ball. Now it's Rhys Martin. I can tell by the 12 on his back that he's normally a second rower, but he's been playing a lot at centre this year. The Good. kick's not the best. Miski will pick up. French now comes on to it. Is there a hint of a broken line in the chase here? French with a little flick pass away to Miski. Great chase by King, though. Put pressure on Caesar. Hence, they have the ball on the halfway line. Here's King, Toby King. One of the six Wigan players who were involved with England a couple of weeks ago in their 64 0 win against France. Jody was involved as well. The women's game, that was also a 64 0 as well. You were skipper, weren't you? Anyway, more of that in just a second. Smith out to French. French now gets a pass away early. Here comes Leon Marshall. Marshall throws it back on the inside. It's a forward pass. It's a forward pass. That came right out of the big top with all the juggling. But the last pass was forward, and we're going to deny a moment of glory. They're starting to ask some questions now, aren't they? Shipped the ball really well there to find Marshall on the outside. But that pass just drifting a little bit forward there, I think. If he had his time again, he, he might just take take the tackle or try, try and dive in the corner there. But that all came off the kick at the end of the set from Leeds. Yeah. He just put pressure on Aidan Caesar and he, he didn't quite get the kick he wanted away. It probably only made 10 metres and that meant Wigan started with a ball already in the Leeds half and it gave him the chance to really attack that line. There's a real joyous feel to the atmosphere here today, isn't there? South Stand is always yeah. in good voice with a band. It's a great place to play, it's a great stadium. Sunny Challenge Cup game, lots not to be happy about. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's O'Connor, out of dummy half. Ooh. Connor again. I remember the name, his dad Terry was uh, a bit of a Wigan hero yep. back in the day. Yeah. It's been lost, knocked on. And that's two mistakes now, the poor kick by Caesar, but good pressure by King, and now, you know, they're putting pressure on themselves. And the three-on-two three on, three on two occurred when Liam Marshall threw the forward pass. It's just when you get Bever and French with the ball in hand, he, he just creates a three-on-two, worry about his pace, just got to stay on the outside shoulder, ask questions of the defence. Let's just watch this here from Wigan. The scrum play is in the reckoning because Bevan French is standing behind Ryan Hampshire. He's gone right. I think everybody expected the ball to go his way, but it went the other way. And that shot play has given Wigan a little bit of license to try to find a way through here. Farrell tackle, 20 away. Here comes Powell. Back now to Ellis. Well, they're lining themselves up here. Four plays to go. And that close. Smith back. French. French with a short pass. It's a forward, forward pass. pass. It's a forward pass. I, we're going to see it. who's to blame here, because they had enough time. They created the space. He didn't need to throw that pass, a no-look pass. He just had to give it. King had run the hole for him. Just watch the run by King. A little pass, that's all that was needed. 
Right, let's 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 go down to Tony on the touchline because I think uh, Tony, you've got news on Ethan Havar, the Wigan Wigan prop. Yes, as you as you said, as he came off, it was a horrible injury. He's dislocated his elbow. They've uh, taken some time to get it back into place. Obviously, his afternoon is running. It is very very hot down here to already be down a man. Did we need the detail of replacing a dislocated elbow? Have you ever dislocated your elbow? No, thankfully not. It always looks like one of the worst injuries to get. So yeah, thankfully not, but hopefully, hopefully he's been looked after now and he's, he, he can recover and he'll be back in not too, not too long. Lightens the load down the middle for Wigan though. That'll be a concern for yeah. Matty Pete. Well, they've got interchange players, but they're gonna have to do bigger minutes than they would have expected. Here comes Rhys Martin. Skipping back, looking for an offload if he can, but too many hands around him. Connor's in there again. There's a little glance right and left, decides it's left to his skipper Cameron Smith. Caesar with a chip and chase. Miski has a look around. Bevan French should get there first. Well, nobody oh. wanted it. Nobody wanted it. Oh, it's a penalty for offside. It's a push, I think. It it's is a, a push, push yes. Whoa. I don't. This would be interesting to watch because I'm not sure if he had any choice because the ball. Everyone assumed the ball is going to bounce over. Just watch. He saw it bounces it back. Yeah, that's the push. There was no need. There was no need for the push of Caesar. I think Missy was going to just l let it go. Oof. That is just. It's a lack of conviction from both players, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really. Well, we saw Leeds score off a similar. Miscommunication, I suppose, dealing with some of the kicks at the back, and and they managed to capitalise on that last week when it happened. I think it was Harry Smith who who pulled out of taking one of those kicks, and that's what they need to definitely fix up at the back. Wigan is just that confidence of who's taking that ball and who's claiming it. So taken on by Liam Byrne. Byrne finding yards inside that lead half. Powell away. Hampshire drops it back on the inside. Morgan Smith is cutting back, shakes one off. Cameron Smith. He's dug it! He's dug it! Last play again. Breeze is up here. Smith puts it high-ish. Bevan French is after it! Oh, and he's nearly got there. Nearly got, I tell you what, this duel, oh. this mid-air duel between these two fullbacks today. It's going to be one to watch because Myler did a number on French a little earlier and French very nearly did a number on Myler there. He'd be disappointed with that. He timed his run and his jump perfectly. Myler isn't the biggest of full backs. If he just holds on to that, you know, that's a, that's a definite definite try. Just watch him. He times his jump. Brilliant take and just lose it. Yeah, Myler does just enough there. Just keeps one little hand on there to just make the ball come out of Bevan French's hands because it was a definite try, he did everything right, absolutely everything right, and it's not the sight you want in your peripheral vision there as you're trying to take those high balls. He's Bevan French steaming onto it, but they're starting to ask questions and it just feels like points are on the horizon for this Wigan yeah. side. You get in my face, I get in your face. Yeah, I think momentum's definitely with Wigan now, creating opportunities, just haven't finished them. Here's O'Connor. That roll, that task of being there and replay the ball for as many as you can but the hookers on both sides have to achieve Harry Newman now he can make things happen but not when Wigan's defense is as robust as that Morgan Smith is with the tackle O'Connor delivers and now it's with James Donaldson that was a fifth here comes a sixth before that happens Caesar will put the ball in the air French drawn to it, easy take, but as soon as he hits the ground, Cameron Smith is waiting. Have some of that. <laughs> Brilliantly timed tackle there from Cameron Smith. Just waited until Bevan French's feet hit the floor again and then made sure that he felt that one. And that's again, it's just making sure Bevan French knows every time that ball gets kicked that there's kick pressure, kick chase, and he's going to have to be secure under that high ball. Here's Hampshire. Taking on Martin, losing out in that little duel. Gets up and plays to Powell. Swiftly back to Smith, Smith with a kick. There's not a lot of chase on that. I think he was not looking for an attacking kick there, just putting leads on the back foot. He's up there quickly as well. They're trying to keep it alive. And Liam Tindall 
in the end will be happy just to keep keep hold of the ball. Yeah, the kicking game from both sides has been very, very good. You know, you just, as Jody was saying, they're starting the, the set of six so deep inside their own twenty. It's it's a real, real arm wrestle at the moment. Twenty-three minutes played. It's flown by this first half. McDonald keeps it alive. Myler to Caesar. Myler's claiming there was a Wigan touch there. The referee is not mindful to agree. This is Cam Smith for Leeds, just holding himself forward again. Don't forget that red button or the eye player, I should say, a little later. Challenge Cup extra after we finish here today. Lots to discuss from the world of rugby league in this last week or so. Myler's kick spirals downfield, but Bevan French catches those with so so much ease. And Liam Marshall leading the way back. Smith. Another set of six early in the count, so not too damaging from Leeds' point of view. Uh, discipline has been good from both sides as well, just haven't given easy you know, territory. They've had to work hard from it because of a good kicking game by both sides. Toby King dragged down by Nenny McDonald just to slow things down to help his defence just get back a little bit of that oxygen. And Semba on from the bench, the young fella. He's only 18, Junior and Semba. Big day for oh, him today. Good hit. But they've sought territory. They find themselves in a decent position here, Wigan. Leeds are under a little bit of pressure. Farrell at pace. But they've set a platform for an attacking kick right across the face of this Leeds defence. Onto the left foot of Harry Smith. Up in the air. And Semba's underneath it. It bounces into the in-goal area, Hampshire knocks it back, the referee says play on, the referee says play on, so, well, yeah, in the end, no, it's no, no advantage from yeah, the knock -off. no advantage there. Yeah, it's took that one back to the knock-on, I think, hasn't he, and then... It's going to be scrum play and Leeds working hard there. You know, we've mentioned the heat, we've mentioned the conditions. I think both teams are in the arm wrestle and it's taken a lot out of the tank in these early early rounds. It's very much back and forth. You mentioned there, Jonathan, the kicks have been good in the main, yeah. which is meaning that the teams are having to work really hard to get out of their own half. I think the boys can illustrate the pre-match about the, the poor soft defence from Leeds. That certainly isn't the case. You know, we're going to find it hard to make the yards. And they've maybe blown a couple of opportunities, but Leeds will be happy with their defensive, you know, performance so far. We've got a water break here. That's yeah. what the stoppage is for. We were told beforehand the match commissioner said that because of the uh, heat today, oh, it's not scorching, is it? But 16 it's degrees. a little, little warmer than we're used to expect in this part of the world at this time of year, allegedly. Everybody's taking on extra water here. And the, uh, the referee's getting his batteries changed as well. It's games like this, and particularly, obviously, with Ethan Havard going off the field for Wigan, the back five become even more important, taking those early carries, and we're seeing Wigan do that really well. Jake Wardle particularly making re some really important metres for Wigan, and the whole of the back five are really getting in and getting through some work to help out those middles. Ethan Havard is uh, cutting a rather painful figure down on the sidelines at the moment with that uh, dislocated elbow. <laughs> Professor Chris Brooks alongside him. The eminent medical man in rugby league is Chris. Top bloke as well. Myler up at dummy half, ten short of the halfway line. Oh, Another set again. of six. Another set of six for Leeds. Wigan taking too long in the tackle yes. and Leeds finding their way back inside enemy territory here. And with plenty of tackles to try and pick a way through. Sam Lassoni with a solid drive. O'Connor at a dummy half. Cam Smith puts it back to Caesar. Caesar with McDonald cutting back on the inside. Three tackles to go. Leads 25 yards away. Donaldson, all effort and energy from him. Quickest play the ball, O'Connor again. Now it's with Cam Smith. Smith to Caesar. Caesar with a kick through. Marshall's got him covered. And Harry 
Smith is offside, the Wigan player, so it's a penalty for Leeds. Yeah, Harry Smith just shoots out the line there and arguably causes more problems than he solves by doing that. He looked like they actually had enough numbers to defend that on that Wigan left edge, but he shoots out the line and now he's given a penalty away for his team. Just tries to put pressure on yeah. Aidan Cesar and he misses him. Yeah, he didn't commit to anyone, did he, Smith? You know, there's a lazy, lazy defence by him. He was offside. You know, in a tight game like today, the two points could be crucial. But as Jody said, if Leeds had kept the ball in hand there, he'd committed. He hadn't taken anyone out. There were numbers on the right hand side. Like you say, Challenge Cup, keep them Tims a rattling. This will give Leeds a two score lead. If. And given that it's Rhys Martin, you're tempted to say when he puts this ball between the sticks. Perfect conditions for kicking today. So here is Martin. A while here now, isn't he? Three, four years at Leeds with that kick. And um, the expectation was... Exactly that, he's put it over. Leeds now lead by eight points to nil. And those two points are important. When you're in an arm wrestle game like this, and it feels like you can't quite break down the team, just a, a pressure relieving penalty like that, that means you put another two points on the board, you take some air into the tank, and then you can start to go again. And this is all gonna just build and build the confidence of this lead side. Going into half time, they've had the better share of territory. Yes, we're going to have had some chances, but they've just not quite been able to capitalise on those chances. South Stand are encouraged. Good call, Myla. Leeds bringing it back through Move. Sam Lissone. Yes, we're here. Go on. Donaldson. Good run. O'Connor, Myler behind is just waving his teammates on to try and keep this intensity going here. They sense they could make some yards in this set. Smithies does his best to hold on as long as he can. McDonald cuts back. Oh, there's a, an offside yeah. run by Morgan Gannon, so McDonald had to stop there and then. And here's O'Connor again now. Sony again is involved. Five tackles gone, leads just inside the Wigan half. Probability is a kick. Actuality is a kick. Myler puts it high. French underneath it. Oh, he's lost it, but he's lost it backwards. Great kick once again. You know, you have to put pressure on him. Caesar's done well, and Myler put real, real spin on that kick. Difficult to take the French. And as we mentioned earlier, he knows the Leeds boys are coming. They've been coming all game, been in his face. And it's not just one, is it? It's not just Myler. They're spreading the load on putting pressure on Bevan French. But at least he had the sense to turn away so that when he did drop it, it did go backwards, which is why Wigan have this potential to get themselves out of trouble here. And Semba, that's a good, strong carry. It's a really good, strong carry. Thinks about the offload, gets the offload. That's super stuff from the youngster. Here comes King. King now, he's offloading, Hampshire throws it back, Wigan having to just chance their arm here to get out of this squeeze that Leeds are putting on them. Smithies on the halfway line plays, here's Harry Smith again, that ball wobbles in the air as up it goes, single catches safely, looks to return. Myler. Daryl Olfords. And he's passed to McDonald and now Martin, but Wigan's defence slid across. Kept their numbers honest. Olfords again. I tell you what, he's 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 done some work today, hasn't he, on this left-hand side, Daryl yeah, Olfords? Yeah. O'Connor. Newman. Like a bullet from a gun, and then with the offload, O'Connor again, can he offload? No, he can't. Morgan Smith is all, all, all over it. 
Myler. Sees up. Suggesting an inside ball. Oh, he's just about kept a hold of it here, Newman. Newman takes it on. Had the confidence to go away. He's a superstar. Harry Newman. They love him here. I tell you, he's lucky he scored. Because the inside pass was the pass. <laughs> I think Bevan French took his eyes off him. Yeah, I agree with you. That inside pass probably was the right option he is. He's lucky that he's, he scores there. Aiden Caesar takes the line on. Great support play there by Harry Newman and brilliant juggling skills to keep hold of that ball oh. when running at pace, but he absolutely had to find that pass on the inside. So he'll be thanking his lucky stars. He does manage to use his power, his strength, his athleticism there to just take on Bevan French and score the try in the end. Great run by Caesar. Just watch, he goes in between two of the forwards, gets the ball away. Great inside support, but you know, in or out, Bevan French had to take someone. Well, he scored two tries last week thanks to passes from Wiggins, number seven. Today he scores a try on the back of his own teammates, number seven. And it's a 12 0 lead that could set to be 14 in just a moment. And for a side that can't perform in the first half of games, this has been a very good performance. Yeah, exactly. They, they took a turn in this game, and they're the ones that have come out firing. And I think the set prior to, to that try, Wigan just looked a little bit rattled. They were finding offloads that potentially weren't on, and they really then just had to place for, for the kick. And Lee did incredibly well then to work backfield. Over it goes, the inevitability of it again. 14 points to nil now. Well, last week it was Wigan who racked up the 14, but this week it's a very different Leeds. There he is, Caesar gets his arms free. Great inside support. He's got to pass one way or the other, but Bevan French doesn't take him. Is that, there's actually nothing been in this game so far, you know? I think, you know, no one's really dominating it. The difference is, Leeds have a couple of opportunities and they've taken them. And if you possibly can question anything about Bevan French's game, it, it arguably might be that one-on-one -on -one defence. You know, you can't, he's absolutely electric in attack, his pace, his footwork, but possibly just that one-on-one -on -one defence there, he, he will admit he has to be better on that one. Oh, Olfitz. Big mistake, that is. That's a big mistake for Leeds. All momentum's with them, just take it up, get a good kick and chase. No opportunity for Wigan to hit back straight away. Well, he's been faultless, Olfert, so he far has, in the game. He but has. That moment just the gives the Wigan the a pass, sniff. The pass was poor, though. You know, the pass was Wait over his left shoulder, minute. not the pass you want when you're running into a defensive line. Wait for the outcome before we break. Kid, Is this a quick response from Bevan French? Oh, it's getting heated in the middle. Two front rows coming together, it's like watching Rugby League and Jonathan Davis's day again, this, isn't it? Oh, you feel punch your stone then. You mark his head, don't move forward. Pat down there and you pat down as well. Heads in. Head in. OK, ball in the scrum. Where do Wigan go? French has gone left, Wigan have gone left with lots of numbers over there. Smith onto Bevan French. French with the footwork. Leeds trying to re renegotiate their defence. Penalty for Wigan. Penalty for Wigan. You feel they need something here now, Wigan. Gannon, offside. Offside against well, Morgan Gannon. Down, Sam, but you can almost feel the alarm okay. in an opposition defence oh. when Wigan are putting on a scrum play like that, so close, with Bevan French in their armoury. Here's Cade oh. Ellis. Jared off the ball! Oh. Oh. It's Powell at dummy oh. half. Left they go again. Shorrocks to Smith, to French, and French to finish it. French to finish it. He might have been at fault at the other end, but he is so often flawless with ball in hand when he sees that line, and Wigan have points that are perhaps barely justifiable, but at least it keeps them in the game. I don't think you don't need to create an overlap. When you've got someone like Bevan French, you just need to isolate him one-on-one. -on -one. This is the run inside earlier on. He is absolutely electric there, gets a penalty. And from this one, just the one-on-one. -on -one. I think it's I think it's a Harry Newman, isn't it? There he goes, just watch him, bang. Harry Newman just gets caught with his weight on his left foot. Now that gives you opportunity for Bevan French to get on the outside, just watch it. He just gets steps inside that split second, gives him the opportunity to go on the outside shoulder.
Yeah, I think that's that was Bevan French getting one back. I think it's similar similar scenario in terms of that just squaring up on the defender, bumping up, using that ball to bump off the defender, and then all he had to do then was drop down to get the ball over the try line. But fantastic flair and attack there from Bevan French. And that all comes from a knock on. That's the difference. One one pass, one poor pass, knocks it on. Scrum, pressure, penalty try. Newman one, French one. More to come, folks. Harry Smith with his first goal kick of the day, and he's put it wide. Right across the face of goal, so it remains at 14 points to four. Yeah, again, we just see brilliant link in play. Shorrocks, who's been in the halves, links up really well with Harry Smith, who finds Bevan French. And as you say, anyone who's trying to mark up and defend against Bevan French definitely starts to worry and back off. And you can't do that when you've got that sort of talent running at you. And it's a fantastic wig and try and possibly a turning point in this game, as you said, Jonathan, all coming off the back of an error in backfield for Leeds. Oh, the restart. Mistake from Wigan. Again, there were three of them and put their name on that ball. Whoa, Ronnie the Rhino's detecting some Wigan nerves. He's happy. Yeah, again, Drop out uh, underneath the sticks, and another wave of Leeds attack to come on the back of this. Yeah, you've got a call. One of them's got to commit to it. Look, it's three players there. Looking for distance, as you would at this stage of a half in a Challenge Cup. That helps Wigan's cause, Lasoni. A little clumsy with the footwork, but there'll be nothing clumsy about this. <laughs> That's a shoulder charge. Shoulder that is. charge, yeah. There's no need for that, you know. Well, have you seen the size of him? Yeah, but that's, he's going to injure himself. His technique is wrong. He gets he hits it with the wrong shoulder. Just watch. It's a left, you know, that's a that's yeah. a left shoulder tackle there, and he's got and he's led with his right shoulder. Now this will give Leeds a last opportunity. The dropout was brilliant. Found grass near the halfway line. Now it gives Leeds the territory to attack from. Here come Leeds with an opportunity to re-establish the comfort zone they had not too long ago. Five tackles from here, minute and 40 to go. There's plenty enough time for this full set. Donaldson will set the platform. Now they can work right or left. And so close to that line, O'Connor. Now it's Smith, Smith to Myler. Myler's grabbed a hold of, just trying to poke his nose over there, but Wigan hands are underneath. Couldn't put the ball down. So Leeds go back 10 metres and play it again. O'Connor, Smith, Donaldson again, same role, sets the platform. Huge field right, huge field left. O'Connor goes left, sees her now, puts it back, Little twist and a turn, but no way through. Connor from the feet of Lissoni pushes off the big man, oh. puts the kick in, poor kick, Try. picked up by Bevan French. French now, wheeling through. Woo. Cam Smith gets a hold of him, otherwise I think yeah. Jonathan Davis' prediction might have gone true. The gap was there for him. Two, move. Good there pressure go. again, good pressure. On the kicker. Smith with a carry. Here's Wardle. Wardle again making a break. He's made a couple of telling impacts in the game so far. Marshall with the step. Now it's Farrell. Wigan looking to keep it alive. A little bit of desperation in the last 14 seconds of the half. Here comes King. King now cuts back on the inside. He wants to offload. There's nobody there apart from Leeds players. Cameron Smith has it back. That's it, I think. Here comes the play the ball. This is the last play of this first half. And Rhys Martin will just carry it in. And that is that. Matty P can't wait to get off and find his way into the dressing room. I think there's some strong words to be had from Wigan's point of view at the end of that first half. But Leeds have deserved their half-time lead. But that Wigan try from Bevan French giving them more than a hint of hope in this game. Plenty of words to be spoken 
in both dressing rooms, I'm sure. We're going to be hearing from uh, some of the combatants in that first half, Rhys Martin and Bevan French. Let's go down to Tanya. Rhys, is that as good a first half as you guys have had this season? Yeah, look, I think um, we got a lot of confidence from last week, but we've been working hard at, at training. Um, we know we haven't been great in our first half, so it's been a big focus of ours. And, you know, when we play like that consistently, we're going to be a hard team to beat. The intensity really seems to have been there from the off. Yeah, it has. Um, we, know you, we know what you're going to get when you play Wigan. They're, they're a physical team, and if you're not here to match it, um, they'll just go straight over the top of you. So um, we come out far and we're ready to play today, so we just need to do it again. Thanks, Reese. Let's bring in Bevan French. Bevan, fair to say you've left some points out there in that first half. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, in a competition like this, you've got to make the most of those. So I feel like we're getting on top of it a little bit. Um, you know, both sides are going really well. I feel like it's a bit of a chess match at the moment. It's just whoever has the ill discipline first. And more than, uh, more than one occasion, it's been us. So we've been on the back foot there. But I think in terms of what, what game play, what game style we want to play and you know, how, where we're going to get our points, it's working. We've just got to stick with it. You've got to do to them what they did to you last week. Yeah, and um, it's exciting. It's a challenge now. So, you know, good weather for it. We get to come out here now and hopefully can do that. Thanks, Bevan. Cheers. Well, uh, Martin, if I, that, that will definitely be what Matt Pete is saying, surely. We now need to do what they did, as Tanya said, we now need to do what they did last Friday. I felt like, uh, you know, we were hanging on at times in that first half, you know, watching these. They looked a bit like a, an NRL team. They were running hard, they were running into gaps, and they were really winning the battle at the contact line. So where's that come from then? Because pre-match we talk about inconsistencies. Pre-match we talk about how they start games really slowly. I think they must have been listening to us. Yeah. <laughs> saying they need to start well. Look, I just thought Leeds, both teams were outstanding there. I thought Leeds came out with real intent and intensity in everything they did and shocked Wigan. But Wigan showed that quality that they've got, the, the, the holders of the cup, to come back into the game as well. I've just really enjoyed that as a game. I think it's just been an outstanding spectacle. Yeah, sometimes as a player or as a coach, you have an epiphany, right? And I believe that Rowan Smith would have had that last week in the second half. Is the blueprint for this team to play well it was so simple. It was every time you carry the ball, look to hurt the opposition with your carries. Run like you're coming out of a cannon. And, and it just causes problems for the opposition. And it's such an effective way. St. Helens have won just the comp a, yeah. four years running, just running harder than everybody else. It's an inconvenient truth around winning rugby league games is that running harder than your opposition will generally get you in a position to win that game. But it requires courage, uh, requires getting rid of any fear it's of getting hurt, well. and discipline to keep doing it. And purpose. Absolutely, and some of the ways that they finished their sets, those spiral bombs, I was getting nervous. You look what nervous now, you look nervous, nervous talking I'm about it. I'm very nervous, you know, it's 44 <laughs> half time and Wigan aren't really on the front foot. But Leeds were. Yeah, Leeds were, and, and it, it became, for me, a copy of the second half performance, and it was led by how direct Leeds were when they had the ball. We see Oledski here, this set typified for me what was great about Leeds in the first half. It was Oledski first up, then Harry Newman, who's had some big involvements, Jamie. But they were so direct and carried with real purpose at this period of the yeah, game. Yeah, listening to Reese Martin in his half-time interview, I think the, the team have been challenged by Rowan Smith. Can you out-physical a Wigan side who are known for their physicality? And here we're just seeing clips that show that. They've rose to the challenge and at least to try scoring opportunities. Yeah, and how good is it to see Cam Smith? You know Leeds are going well when Cam Smith runs the ball a lot. Yeah, he's an outstanding player, Cameron. I've watched him play well this year throughout the year, and it, just creating chaos. It's amazing how running out can create chaos. Oh, mate, even Richie Myler was running <laughs> like a forward, you know, into the line. Harry Newman, mate, he had that selfish gene, when, but luckily, he uh, it came off. He should have passed that ball, really. Yeah, it was the strength of carry that created opportunities for Mark, and it's the strength of carry that led to them to get into field position and to score the first try. And it's Tom Holroyd, who I love as a player, an honest player, I think something really smart. Look, that's just a direct carry. There's nothing miracle we can put on Piero, lines and squiggles, whatever you want. But he does square Cade Ellis up and makes yeah. it a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. But he runs harder and it's he's more committed. Desire. You it's know, desire. You can see it's the look, yeah. Though. There's footwork yeah, in there. Yeah, there's footwork in there, but there's desire. You can see the look in his eyes. And what I was watching that, I thought, this guy wants to go over and score. You know what? He's got muscle memory of doing almost the exact same thing <laughs> exactly against the Wigan same. last week in the second half. And it's just power, Mark. And it was a great start for Leeds. But really, the theme, without over-egging the pudding, was the strength of their carries. 
far exceeded the intensity that Wigan brought to that okay, game. OK, OK, but just explain why... Is that a case of being let off the leash? Because you can't get to play top-level rugby league, whether it's here or in the NRL, without being physical, without running direct, can you? Because otherwise you're not going to survive at well, this I, level. I think Rowan Smith's quite an intricate coach, likes short kickoffs, likes tricky sort of plays. And sometimes you can get down a rabbit warren of complexity and making the game really complex. We stood next to a man who made it his mission to steamroller over you whenever he played against yeah. you. And that never, never doesn't work. Martin, I'm, I don't know if you're in the same category as Absolutely that. Absolutely not. But it is about <laughs> pickling that mental switch when you go on to the pitch. And Lees did that from Yeah, it's know, just having the, the desire minute. to do it and the purpose but, to do it. And the but you don't the need permission from your head coach to do that. Uh, no, do you, you don't need permission, but I think yeah, the infectious. Co head coach sets the standards. And if he said, this week, I want everybody to run harder than the opposition, well, that sets the standard. That's what you've got to do. Yeah, but they also had it in defence yeah, as well. Yeah, that's the impressive they both thing about Leeds. The they got it both right, Mark. Intensity with the defence. Look, Aidan Caesar had a wow of the first half. Maybe the best first half he's had in a lead share. Yeah. But look at the intensity of the D. Look how much they wanted to dictate the intensity of the physical side of the game to Wigan. They were connected, they chased very well, and they controlled the speed of the game, I believe, better than what Wigan did at times. Well, they look like Elise Rhinos who normally play in the second half. You know, when they're in, they've got intent in, in the defence. I thought they'd done an amazing job of trying to take Bevan French out of the game. They've not been able to do that completely. And we said about them being a bit passive. Well, in this period of the game, they were anything but. They ripped off the line and they smacked Wigan around. And Wigan really looked shell-shocked about that because you're not expecting this kind of line speed from Leeds. We just talked about how passive they are, how many yards they concede. Well, they've just shown us that they don't have to do that to play well. It's not the part of the, the DNA. And it led to an opportunity for one man to shine. And we spoke about him pre-game. He is confident, he is selfish, but he's magical as well. Yeah, James. he's got unbelievable athletic ability and talent. And you see that on, on show there. He nearly almost made a, he blew nearly it, made almost a blew it. We were speaking about that, Martin. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it is your day. And I think today was his day. I think uh, in the old days, he would have got smacked. <laughs> he would have got smacked and put on his back. But, you know, this is what he does well. It's what he does well. He supports. It's a great fumble and retake yeah. for drama, isn't it? Uh, but he's a superstar. But there, give it. Yeah. Wouldn't you have thought? I mean, I like to score tries, but yeah. even I would have yeah. given that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's well, interesting it's... is that Matty Pete is already back out from the dressing room. And I wonder whether to, that, that, that signifies to me, right, you lot have an honest conversation amongst yourselves yeah. to sort this out. There's some warning signs. I've seen Liam Farrell uh, approach the referee on a couple of times. It's, you know, it's creaking. We can, you know, they're bending, they haven't broken. You know, let's look forward to it. I, I like half. that as well. I think Matt Pete spoke about it. I didn't have to say much after the game last time because the players had a grip of their understanding that they give up. And I think he's doing that now. I can't honestly remember really a, co a, a team talk at half time from a coach that absolutely changed thing. I think it it's comes nonsense. from the players it's, it's within and what they want. We can have had opportunities. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like they've been on the right. They've had opportunities and they haven't taken them. You know what I love about Wigan? They're never out of games. They never feel like you're really out of games. And look, we've created opportunities. The forward pass from Liam Marshall to the inside of the line. The opportunities were there. Another forward pass from Bevan French here. The chances are there. The key for Wigan getting back into this game was going to be taking one of them, creating a chance and then taking one. A great chase from Bevan French. And you felt like it was inevitable that eventually they're going to take a chance. You had to get the execution right in the end. You have so much admiration, I think, for Bevan French. He's just such a busy player. And he's no right to score. He shrugs off Harry Newman there, gets over and scores. But he's really, you know, Leeds are trying to take Bevan French out of the game. Bevan French has been relentless in his mindset. No, I'm coming into well, this game. I'm making a difference. And, and let's not forget, Jayfield try, Challenge Cup final, 2022. Huddersfield are dominating. Yeah. Bevan French makes a break out of out of nowhere, sets up a try for Jayfield. When you've got magical players like Bevan French, you are always in a game. And he brings that to this Wigan team. And he, he could be the key to unlocking Leeds in the second half. I mean, as Jamie said, that's the fascinating yeah. thing. Leeds want to take him out of the game, but yeah. he's impossible to take out of the game. Absolutely, but I think uh, John touched on it. Wigan are trying to unlock the defence, but, you know, Leeds are just literally smashing it down. They're smashing the door down. I've seen enough from Wigan that they can come back and overturn this deficit in the second half. They've created enough opportunity. Leeds need to come out with the same intent again. That's an exceptional first half. Wigan will be disappointed. Look, they've had some chances. 
but they're such a fighting team that they stayed in it and they've given themselves an opportunity with that try from Bevan French to go out and go over the top of Leeds like Leeds did to them last week. Is it, is it fair to ask whether Leeds can put two halves together? <laughs> well, it's fair to ask it because well, they've, been, they've, been been asked asked know, they've been... I know, but I want to know whether they're being an idiot for asking You know, the, you know the stat, there was like, they, they've only been ahead in two out of 12 games, so it shows they've been inconsistent in, in nearly all, all the football this year, and I think it's the, they haven't shown the ability to give us full 80 minutes. Now, this is going to be a test because if they don't come out this next five minutes, Wigan won't come back. They've no quitting them. They'll get back into this game. Uh, the teams will be on their way back out very shortly, but last weekend was very special uh, here in Leeds and at Headingley uh, as well with the first ever uh, Rob Burrow marathon. Many of Rob's teammates uh, were involved in the marathon, including Jamie, uh, Jamie Jones Buchanan, Kevin Sinfield as well. 12,000 others ran the 26 mile course and it was revealed yesterday that over four million pounds was raised for 341 different charities including obviously the motor neurone disease association you took part you ran it it was tough <laughs> it was tough there's no <laughs> doubt about that i mean it was hot humid and hilly the three h's you don't want to wear when you're running well, a marathon 100 miles no oh, yeah i've run 100 <laughs> miles before but it was just an this, amazing day and this, this moment, yeah. it's just a definition of inspiration yeah. These two together, you know what inspira inspiration is about? Inspiring somebody to do something they don't think they can do. Over 5,000 people run the first ever marathon in the Leeds Marathon, and that just shows the pull and impact that Rob Burrow and Kevin Simfield have had over the last two years. Adrian Molly sets out in wave one. Jamie Peacock sets out in wave three. Who is the narky man chasing down Adrian Molly? He, yeah, but, he, he knew what he was yeah, doing. But we were the last two in the bar at 1 a.m. afterwards. So <laughs> it's great. We're, we're, we're talking about recovery in sports science. JP did the exact opposite of everything you should do following the race. Yeah, just went to a pub in Headingley. <laughs> uh, right, let's head to Tanya. Yeah, I've got Rowan Smith with me. Rowan, did you challenge your players to give you a first half and up the intensity in a first half? Oh, we've been talking about that for uh, three months now, about starting well. And I thought it was a good hard game there. There's plenty of players that could have gone both ways and good game of footy so far. They really seem to be in an arm wrestle, though. Yes, yeah, good contest. Good contest, good day, good track. Um, looking forward to the second half. The important thing is they've got to put two halves together now, haven't they, your side? Yeah, that's always the plan. And, um, you know, we know we're going to have to be good to, uh, to get the result today. Thanks for your time, Ryan. Thanks, Tony. Uh, the teams are back out. Let's uh, rejoin our commentary team. Jody, Jonathan, and first of all, here's Dave. Bit of history for you. This is uh, this stadium hosted the first ever Challenge Cup final, April 1897. Headingley Stadium. The place has had a lick of paint since, obviously, but there's some real history. Batley 10, St Helens 3. In case you were wondering, were you there, Dave? Were you there, Dave? Is it there, Jonathan? At the day off. So, just as unpredictable as the first half was. So to the second. What happens next in this crazy duel between these two teams? Okay, mate, ready, What's that? Leeds with the upper hand, but Wigan know there's a way back. Can Leeds reproduce or go even better? Or can Wigan catch them cold in the sunshine in West Yorkshire? Wigan with the early oh, possession here. Cade Ellis with that initial carry, reminder that Ethan Havard is uh, gone for the day. The Wigan prop forward because of that uh, dislocated Two. elbow. Two. Some fresh legs on the field. Oh, this is Farrell. Farrell's found a way through. Bevan French is pushing up there. And this is a try in the opening minute of the second half. Told you it was going to be unpredictable. Wigan already with a way back. French with a second. The old man Farrell at the heart of it, and Wigan fans are jubilant. Well, they needed a hit back straight away. They had to score first the second half. I think someone jumped up the defensive line here. There's a natural gap opens up. But what support play by this man, full back. That's what he wanted him for. Just watch. There he goes. Yeah, 25. Just jumps out of it. Little gap on the left hand shoulder. What the, what the support line by this man. Great play. Play the ball, he goes, Powell, oh, Farrell, then the inside ball. Game on now. 
Yeah, what a fantastic pace from Bevan French. Again, we've seen how electric he can be, and we knew that he was going to be pivotal to this Wiggins attack and, and come back if that is to be the case. But it's fantastic vision, first of all, from Sam Powell, just recognising that the defence, I think it was Donaldson from Leeds, was just a little bit wide at A marker. That first, that first defender, sorry, in the defensive line, a little bit too wide, which opened up that gap in behind the rook just to cause a little bit of space there for Liam Farrell to run through. And it was fantastic play from Farrell as well to recognise it, get on his shoulder and then obviously find who else but Bevan French in support. Yeah, a bit of a disconnect. It was uh, Donaldson that rushed up and they played it well, didn't they? Played it very, very well. Powell, Farrell and this man on the shoulder. One mistake, disconnect the defensive line. And you ain't going to describe us, Matty Peters, being over-emotional, are you? He's, no, uh, no. I think he's happy. Yeah. Up, up here. Leeds 14, Wigan 10. Mago. Fresh from the bench. Powell. He's done half. Farrell's here again. That's where the last try started. A little combination, but this time Leeds have fixed things up. Powell. Ellis. Oh, just Bruce simple Bruce. now, just take it up the middle, run hard. Powell to Smith, and Smith with a chip, and the chase is on bounce. the shape of Wardle and Marshall, but Myler's across there, but he's Surrender. nowhere to go. That's the best he could have done in that situation. Great set. Let's make sure his side have got possession back again. Straight after the try, look where they start the set from Leeds. Surrender. And they'll, they'll fly in here now, the Wigan defenders. Stay. Single Wigan fans on that Western Terrace lifting the volume. Olfords running across the face of that oncoming defence. So they're going through their tackles here without yeah. making a lot of ground leads. They want to change that pattern and they'll not want to see that. Wigan's defence stepping up, forcing the man out of play, McDonald. And earning themselves head and feet at the scrub here. And put a handover, straightforward handover, and a chance to attack again. He headed the Wigan fans like that one. All in voice cheering that defence from Wigan. And it was perfect play. It's exactly what Leeds were doing to Wigan in that first half, just pinning them in the corner, giving the defensive line permission to rush up and really limit the metres of that Leeds attack. And then as a breezy bonus on the end, just managed to push it them out into touch and get the ball back in brilliant field position. It's a great start by Wigan in the second half, great start offensively and defensively. Mego offers an impact, doesn't he? Here comes Ellis, oh. who's uh, looking to get even closer. Four tackles to go. Nerves amongst these Leeds defenders, palpable. They need to get up there and in the faces. Hampshire just offers it off to Insemba, and Semba decides the only way to go is forward. And he did that with some power. Leeds just put him down, Powell again, spinning it back, Smithies along the line, here comes Wardle, Wardle holds him off, gets it back to Smith, Smith now with a dummy, Leeds just about catch up with it all, make sure it ends there for the time being, lost it, lost it, Leeds defence wins the battle. That's a big play, big, big play. Difficult to see where he loses it. Just watch this one. Uh -huh. It's a little bit hard done to there. I and think so. Just, his I hands think so. all yeah, over that one, and arguably it was, a, it was a little long there. I think the the referee had called tackle held, and then he was put to ground. But that doesn't matter. It's now a Leeds ball, and they'll be breathing a sigh of relief there. They need just to get a good set. They haven't been in the game in the second half yet, so just hold on to the ball, get a good kick and chase. Settle it down a little bit. A con of the dummy half. Olfert's boot plays the ball back. McDonald looking for middle ground. But again, they're getting through the tackles here. Wigan's intensity in defence, looking to limit the Sony. Good, strong carry, as you'd expect. But not too much damage done from Wigan's point of view. Two tackles to go. O'Connor, they're looking for a break here, Leeds. Looking for a break. One play to go. 
taken by Gannon down this right-hand side to Myler. Myler's kick, easy take for Bevan French. French is on a hat-trick, by the way. I know. Move, Richard! Here's Smith. Liam Marshall's lining up here. He wants a dart. Bit of a handful for Cam Smith. All the way, Reeves! It's good play by Wigan Box now. Giving the, giving the forwards a chance to get back. King almost to the halfway. Powell. Here's Wardle. He's looked dangerous every time he's had the ball. He's Wardle, had a couple he? of really big moments, hasn't he, has. he, in the game? A couple of big breaks. Inside again for Smithies, and then Hampshire, and here's Nsemba. There was a just a curious suggestion of a forward pass there. But here's the last. Harry Smith puts it up. It's towards Liam Marshall, but it is the six. That's a mix and make up from Marshall, and then a straightforward drop from Harry Smith. From the sublime to the ridiculous. Yeah. I haven't seen this before. Well, yeah. you ain't going to be seeing it again. I don't think so. No, yeah. That wasn't the plan to turn. No, I don't think it was. And Harry Newman there just allowing. Marshall to take that one, Liam Marshall to take that one because he knew he had nowhere to go and then Forster, an impromptu kick at best and then an error off the back of it again. Pressure relieving now for Leeds, who's, again, I think the back the back five from Leeds are also working really hard to get them out of backfield. We've seen McDonald and Olfert, that centre and winger on the left edge, particularly getting through a lot of work. 13 and 14 carries between him, the highest carries throughout the game, both those edges are really are getting through the work. Here's Caesar. Suggesting a potential inside ball from Myler, but a couple of shoulders put an end to that. Myler's kick. Bevan French under pressure. French leaps, lost it again. Lost it again. But Daryl Olfertz has knocked it on, I think. So Wigan will get it back. Yeah, I think he just got his left hand in there, didn't he? Fingertips. Yeah. Fingertips. Yeah. It's good pressure again, though, you know, making it really, really uncomfortable for Devon French. Even when those go for you, and it's not a knock-on, it goes back. It's a knock-on against the other team. It still puts that moment of doubt in your mind that oh, every time you go up, there's pressure. Knock on again. Well, there is a mistake from Wigan, and Leeds are given prime position. On a platter. He didn't play the ball, did he? Incorrect, play the ball. Okay, James. Go. But Leeds with an opportunity here. Justin oh. Sangare. Great opportunity, no good field O'Connor. position. To his right, Morgan Gannon. Carrying it in. Look at that position they've given themselves again here now. Five away. O'Connor. Back it goes. Cam Smith. Myler. Inside ball from Caesar, but Myler can't keep hold. It was a difficult pass to take, to be fair. Yeah, I thought that would have, you know, that would have been a great take. That's what they've got to do. They've got to get that triangle going. You know, Smith, Caesar, and Myler. Good defence. Ball again was just a slightly behind him. Right down, boys. Wait for the out call. Let's go. Get to a shot clock off. So out. Wigan back with it, but a lot of work to do to get to a comfortable position. And Leeds will be working hard in this Hold set the now. Air. Yeah. Hold the air. Go on. Good timing. Niski's getting involved. The winger. He'll, two, play, he'll play the ball two, better square. this time, you watch. Jared, get square! No, he's chopping him Good defence from Leeds again, yeah. though, putting putting the big men on the back, slowing the rook down, just so, trying so. to take control of this game, and then it forces some of those impromptu offloads like that. Yeah, I'm not sure those offloads. Won't be happy there, Wigan management. Well, Leeds are the offload kings this year, aren't yeah. they? More than any other team, and yet it's Wigan who've perhaps produced more today. Here comes Farrell again. Inside the 30, O'Neill, Smith and now Hampshire. Hampshire telling Nsemba to come back on that inside angle. 
And Simba does that, holding up strong. Holding up strong. Keeps his feet. Last play. Smith, French. French with a little grubber behind the line, and uh, Tyndall's picked it up, but he can do nothing to stop that effort. Great play, lovely little kick. He saw that the defence was in line, he looked to kick at the inside or put it up in the air, took the right choice there, repeat set now, just watch the tie, what does he do here? Drops it on the left foot, Stay beautifully behind, weighted behind. kick. The skill to put that weighted yeah. kick in yeah. as well. And taking the right option, you know, does he put it up in the air, does he go inside? So we're going to have it back. It's a tide that is now going what? against Leeds at the moment. Can they keep their heads above water? O'Neill, Smith to Mega. Mega with the footwork. Leeds with a defensive effort. He's still going here, Mega. Still just causing Woo! a bit of trouble and again keeping his feet. O'Neill dobs out of dummy half. Hampshire back to Smith again. Smith, oh, brilliant ball! Great and then Simba came flashing onto that. Whoa! Remember, remember! Junior and Semba! That was brilliant! The pass was sensational! And the score was a marvel. Absolutely brilliant play there from Wigan, and it was some subtle movement by Harry Smith late. Just as the ball was being played, he comes from the left-hand side of the rook, moves across to the right and just adds that extra number to come out the back of Ryan Hampshire and deliver a brilliant cut-out pass there for Junior and Semba, who I think has been fantastic since he's come onto the field. He's always having to put numbers in to take him down. He's, he's a big fella, he's a tall fella, not the easiest to tackle, but right there he went through virtually untouched on a brilliant line. Tell you, Mago and Semba have made a huge difference in the second half. You have to say that McDonnell just came out of the line there. Oh. He just played his hand and he just hit the hole, didn't he? And once he had the ball, there was no stopping him. McDonnell, you've got to hold your line in the centre. He's some kid, isn't he? You know, he's fairly new to the scene. I think he debuted last year against Hulk Hale, I'm not sure, but... He runs with power. One thing about this kid as well, Hardy Smith, you know, he's, he's just made two mistakes, that's it, brushes himself off, puts a try scoring pass in. This for the lead. Wow, for the first time. Well, it's a, it's a complete turnaround from last, uh, last weekend. That we mentioned last Friday. I think we have. Smith with a settler. Wigan fans in the Western Terraces calming down. South Stand below us trying to put him off. The kick. Oh, it's a terrible, terrible kick. But I tell you what, it adds to the cup tie because it remains at 14 points apiece. And that could be important when it comes Good. down to it. It's such a tight game and they've done so well to claw the way back into this. And now Wigan looking that dominant team, really throwing the ball around, really putting the pressure on Leeds. And two points in this game could prove crucial. Yeah, it's a poor miss by Smith. Easy kick for him, really. Just snatched at it. Short kick off. Well, Semmer with a target. Leeds have gone short and have it. And Sangare drops on it. And that is not an unusual tactic from Leeds. They love their short kickoffs, and immediately they're on the front foot. Here's Cam Smith. They have bought themselves an opportunity with a roll of the dice. Holroyd driving it in. South stand beneath us has gone absolutely bonkers. Lifting that noise. Holroyd again. Corey Johnson in at dummy half now as Holroyd's put down. Johnson has a look. Picks up and plays it back. Now it's with Cam Smith. Here comes Caesar. Caesar out wide. Myler. Nenny McDonald does well to turn this back into an attacking opportunity. The kick behind. Harry Newman was ready for it. 
but so are the Wigan defence, the offload, and Wigan have it back. That's not, that was a poor decision. They haven't had any possession or territory. They've been under the cosh. You've just got to build pressure, build pressure. The kick wasn't needed there in a good position. I think the, the Wardle involvement in the tackle there played a big part in that. Knocking that ball free. Here's Marshall. Oh, he's defense. lost that. He's lost that, I think. No. I think there was a little bobble underneath those bodies, but... It's a good defence now by Leeds again. Here's Miskin. It's a vocal battle between the South Stand and the Western Terrace here. It is, yeah. Great support by both sets of fans. This is Byrne, Liam Byrne. Here's O'Neill, regular interchange dummy half in the second half of games. Smith puts it high, oh, Tindall, did he get a hand on that? Can he what get out of the goal area? Great chase. No to the first one, no to the second, drop out underneath the sticks. Yeah, Liam Tindall never really looked confident under no. that one, I think he, he lost that in the sun, I'm going to give him an excuse, he lost that one in the sun, not quite where he wanted to be and really, Lucky that there wasn't a Wigan player closer to put that one down. But it's going to be another great opportunity now for Wigan. It shows it just shows how important it is. You know, the quality of kickers these days. You can't give him that amount of time. You know, Smith just put it on on his left peg, banged it up in the air. It's very difficult to take those kicks. Well, they're, uh, they're missing Blake Austin with those dropouts, aren't yeah. they? That was a neither here nor there type of kick, which has given Wigan immediate position with their possession. Two tackles gone, 10 metres away. O'Neill at dummy half. Hampshire comes chiming in. Hampshire. Dragged down by three. O'Neill again. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's had time to decide. Back with Harry Smith. Smith with a short one. I'll tell you where he's going, whatever side Bevan French is on. Here's O'Neill. Smith is. This is Byrne. Last play. Back to Smith. Smith into Hampshire. Hampshire tries to cut through. Good in defense. The end, cut down. Great defense. But picking up on your theme in the first half, Jody, we're going to not going to be too despondent about where they finish there. You know, I think there's a magnet in that, <laughs> that area of the field, that bottom left corner, just near the Wigan fans. And, Again, shifting the ball around really well. Oh, Movement from yeah. Wigan has been really good, and Harry Smith getting involved in all Richard, areas of the go. field. And I think he's Richard, really stood up tall in this second half so far. And he's had to with being now the dominant recognised half, which he has done over recent weeks, but a new half partner. And I think yeah. he's really starting to get used to that. That partnership working really well again. Then England captain Jody Cunningham with us today. Good stuff. One of the greatest Welsh players the game has ever seen. Lewis Jones has a stand named after him here at Herringley, so uh, Jiffy, Jonathan Davis feels quite privileged to be here as well. Hey, you've got John Charles Stadium as well in Elland Road. Hey, look. Good Welsh contingent up, uh, up in Yorkshire. Leeds extricating themselves at the moment. Sangare at Toulouse last year, the Welsh, uh, the Frenchman. Myla. Oh, again. The call for the high tackle. I think the touch oh, and They were struggling then to get out. Leeds weren't going anywhere. They've been given a lifeline. Pressure reliever, that one. Just a bit lazy there with the swinging he arm was, from yeah. Morgan Smithies. He was. You start to see that as as these middles will get tired, they're doing extra minutes, obviously we're losing Ethan Havard early on. And that's just where you start to see those swinging arms, just a little bit lazy and the penalty starts to come. It's a match like a pendulum, swinging. Latest swing was Wigan's way, but here come Leeds and Holroyd. It's a good run again. Leading the drive. Get up and play it, the referee says. Johnson had a dummy half. Cameron Smith drops it back on the inside. Caesar comes running through. Johnson again leads. 
getting closer and closer. And here's Sangare to get him even closer. Threatened for a moment there to go all the way, but we can just about hang on. Johnson again. Back it goes to Caesar. Step back on the inside from Morgan Gannon. Gannon with the offload. Keeping opportunities alive here. But Donald out of play, I think. He's in touch. Out of play, yes. Scrum down, lost it. Play, lost it all. Again. Yeah, Morgan Gannon there, nowhere to go, really. And just finding his way into touch. But brilliant Wigan defence again. Numbers in, just showing that desire. Max here, boys. To pull the Wigan attacker out of the field of play and earn the ball back again. Let's you can go. see what that means there to Morgan Smith. Is he's got through some work in the middle and he'll be relieved to get that in. Wigan scrum now. Oh, it's a big push from Leeds. Big push from Leeds. You don't see that very often, so when it happens, it surprises the opposition. And no doubt Wigan was surprised there because it's Leeds who'll get the ball back. Yeah, it's a big play, that is. You know, look at it, they go in. Gets his hand to it. Got his hand to it, knock yes. on. But if you're going to turn this pressure into points, no Leeds. Is it too early to start thinking about drop goals? Oh, oh hang on, hang on, hang Depends on. Depends where you are, really. They're blowing up again. Oh, there'll be a lot of angry faces now, nothing else, Dave. Too many cameras, you can't do that these days. You might start to see a little bit more of that as well. It's, you know, draws in any game a tenth, but when it's knockout rugby league and you're playing in a cup competition, the nerves start to come in, like you say, is it that golden point sort of time where you're looking at dropping a, a goal in the last ten minutes? It starts to get a little bit touchy, and we'll see some of this flaring up. Keep the discipline. That could be crucial last... 18 minutes. I've already pulled pops out at a scrum earlier in the game. Do we have any more of that? I'm just going to pick a penalty. Yeah. You got the message? Yeah, got, got the message? Yeah. And a penalty scrum. at this stage would be very advantageous. Well, a scrum head and feet 10 yards from your opponent's line is go, very down. advantageous Into as well it. here. It is. So Leeds with an opportunity to strike. Six plays to have a go. Clear, clear. Caesar. Puts it back, and McDonald is dragged down. Offords in a dummy half, that's play one, still five to go. Offords is going to have a go himself, maybe that's a waste of a play. Wigan defence always had that covered. Spun back to Caesar, here comes Holroyd. We know what we're going to get from him, and that's that. A good feat, isn't he? Good feat for the big man. Johnson. Stepping away, good defence. Goes Cam Smith, but Farrell. Liam Farrell is Brilliant. all over him. Great defence by Farrell. Johnson again. Back to Caesar. Here's Martin. Wigan's defence has been honest so far. Leeds have one chance to trick them now. Back it goes to Caesar. Oh, he slides it in, and Harry Smith snatches that back up. Much to the relief of yeah. those in cherry and white. I don't think there was much on there, so maybe, as you said, maybe a drop goal there. He hadn't, they hadn't gone anywhere, Ooh. just to get your nose in front. Goal two. Harry Smith does well there, though. To he pick does. that one up round his ankles, it's easy to knock those on. He does really well. Third. That's a good run as well, fair play. Miski. Oh, he's hurt. Miski. Oh, he just got onto it and just held it between his legs. Here's Wardle. Farrell, Farrell, six tackle, Smith, it's a test up for Myler because French is after it, it's French who gets there, Great no he tick. doesn't, it's Myler and that is brilliant from Richie Myler. I can't express oh, he's knocked on. Oh, what a brilliant team, under such pressure. He knock it on. Look at that. It's a brilliant take. And as he goes down, yeah, knocks it on. Oh. And that pendulum swinging back. Touch, 
touch, Wigan's way. It's a touch, George must have seen that. Wait for the out call. Wait for the out call. Johnny Roberts on this near side touch, Judge, to give him a name check. Warren Turley on the other side. Okay, shot, go, go. 15 okay. to go, big moment in the game, big set of six as they all seem to be at the moment. Go for it, go for Here's it. Ryan Hampshire and he's found a way for Wardle to find a way. Second debut for Ryan Hampshire and a big, big moment in a Challenge Cup tie. Wardle gets himself over, Wigan are back in the lead. He's been good, on you, Wardle? Very, very good. It's a very, it's a clever play. Clever play from the scrum. As we said earlier, Jody, you know, from the scrum, they're very good. Here's the mistake. Great take, but just loses it. But just watch it. French goes one way, and then all of a sudden, Hampshire's got just a, a jump start from the scrum. Just watch him. Lovely, lovely ball. Wardle's in. Morgan yeah. Garner, he just got a jump start on Morgan Garner, and he couldn't make it up. And the outside defence, and he's going, shall I come in, shall I come in? Brilliant line, good ball. Yeah, Jake Wardle, he deserved that one, didn't he? He's been fantastic all game, possibly the best man in a Wigan shirt so far with the impact that he's had alongside Bevan French. And I think the Leeds defence were possibly listening to you, Jonathan, and maybe anticipating it going the side where Bevan French went, but that's what worked for them. They had that little bit of space, caught Harry Newman flat-footed, and it was a brilliant Wigan try. Well, no wonder Leeds' defence was in trouble if they were listening to Jonathan. Big kick, this. Big, big kick. It is a big kick. Puts this over. Leeds would have to score twice to win it in normal time. But his kicking has not been good today. The one thing about him, oh, he's made a few errors, but he's just dusted himself off and gone and got about his job. But it's worrying what you can't control. Those previous kicks, just put it out of your mind. Here's Smith. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. It's one out of four. 18-14, Wigan the lead, but... Oh, shirt's off, yellow card for that. But that try now might not be enough. Leeds yeah. will take hope from that. Two big kicks really missed. And he'll, he'll be disappointed he's missed those. He's a better kicker than that. Leeds will go short. Of course, Leeds will go short. It's what's in their DNA this year. And knock on. Knock on from Toby King. Leeds scrum. I mean, they have been criticised for these short kickoffs this year, Leeds, but the last two have paid off. Well, if you're competing for it, if you're going to compete for it, and get a chance of getting it back. Oh, was that a knock on? I'm not sure, that's a tough call, isn't it? Let's go, put it down. Yeah, those short kickoffs, it's, it's hero or zero. If it works, fantastic, you get the ball back. If it doesn't, then you're giving Wigan much better field position than if you get a deep kick. There, we were talking about great Welshmen. There is a genuine great Welshman, Billy Boston. Here today, there he is, Billy Boston. What a fantastic player Billy was. They're going to have a statue of him in Cardiff B. Yeah, they've got one in Wigan. Yeah, they've got gonna... one in Wigan, and they're going to have one in Cardiff as yeah. well. Two, three, two. Legend, dead set legend. Anyway, back to the game. Eleven and a half minutes to go. Leeds sets an opportunity to strike back. Sangare put down. Twenty yards away. Johnson goes left. Here it is now with Caesar. McDonald's making a move on that left-hand side. Four, Wigan's two, defense two, remains three. resolute. Myler, Caesar. All right, again, oh, just straightening five, up the hard three. graft of the big men down the middle. They hope opens things up for the smaller men out wide. Sangare with a great offload. The effort is there again, but Wigan, hang on. Turn over ball. It's a long way from over this cup tie. I don't think they. I think they panic a little bit there. Just need a little bit more composure. You know, Smith was out the back there. The Wigan defence had him covered. Is that great? Surrender! Leeds are going to step it up here, though, aren't they? Well, they have to. There's Marshall. What a way to start the televised cup campaign this year in the Betfred Challenge Cup, a game like this. And don't forget, there's another one tomorrow.
Kess against Hull. That's going to be terrific too. That'll be an interesting game tomorrow. Wardle down the middle. He's there again, Wardle, isn't he? Back foot, back foot. Here's O'Neill. Hampshire back to Nsemba. Lovely stuff again from uh, Junior and Semba. Smith. Oh, it's a nice one again. Myers wondering where this is coming down. He's selected superbly well and a very good take under a swirling high ball. He's been brilliant under the high ball. You know, people question his stature, but you know, he's, he's been very, very good. And Jody, two full backs here today. Bevan French. Richie Myler, who played a lot of their careers in other positions. You, someone who's played at fullback and had to switch. How difficult is it to play at fullback, having played in other parts of the field? Yeah, fullback's quite a unique position. It's quite a lonely position a lot of the time. But the attributes that both these fullbacks have from a half-back ball playing ability, Bevan French playing on the wing and that pace and that speed and the ability to still have that high ball oh. catch. I think all of those attributes just make you a better all-round fullback, but it can be quite a lonely position. I think both have done incredibly well today. Well, there's one fullback, Myler kicking it high to the other, and Bevan French just to illustrate the point, catching it superbly well. You've got to be really vocal at fullback, haven't you? You are yeah. organising everything. You have to be really, but also, if you've played in a half-back as well, you can try and second-guess where they're going to kick it or when they're going to kick it, so... Communication is key at fullback. Get the back, the wingers working with you as well to cover the grass. Here's Miski. O'Neill and Marshall. It's a good set, this is. Great set again by Wigan. Every tackle has yielded quite some yards in Wigan's favour. Farrell. Sizing them up and then trying to push through. So they've played a good 50, 60 yards in this set. Smith on the end of it is allowed to carry it quite a distance before putting that kick off. Tyndall catches in the field of play. He went yeah. back into in goal, but he was clearly in the field of play. They'd be happy with that, Wigan again. Yeah, kick pressure from Lee yeah. has not been good enough. No, it hasn't. Newman. Even getting a repeat set when they were down there last time. I think they lacked the composure. Myler. McDonald. Side by side. Just uh, struggling to contain him there, Nanny McDonald. He made plenty of metres after contact. Olechki. Johnson. Oh, inside, inside Paul from It was Smith. on. It was on. Richie Myler is cursing him under his breath because he was ready to skirt through. But Leeds are keeping it alive here. McDonald put down. Kicks in forward. Caesar's going to kick on the last. Bevan French has to cover some ground here and he's dangerously close to the touchline. But has taken to the ground as a safety first option. Wardle. Oh. Again, he's what? ready to whisk, risk an offload and Miski carries it on a stride or two. Ellis. Four. Here comes O'Neill. Back with Farrell. Leeds fans de determined to persuade the referee that was a forward pass, but it's not given. Now it's the last. Harry Smith. Bevan French is after this. Bevan French. And Richie Myler knew he was coming, but he's taken it well. And French timed that nicely to make the tackle. Yeah, he did again. Fullback on fullback. We've seen that a number of times today, and I think possibly gauntlet thrown between those two with how tight this game is. They've both been crucial with their involvement so far, but neither really making too many errors today. Remember, these two are the Cup Kings. We're going to have won it 20 times. Leeds 14, 59 finals they've shared down the years. But only one of these sides is taking the next giant step towards Wembley at the end of this game. And it is still in the balance. McDonald 
Caesar, Newman, close down by Marshall, but Newman's found a way through, and Newman's on his way, and he has support, and again, again, the inside pass was ignored, and this time it's cost them a try, or can they finish here? Cam Smith, across he goes, puts the kick in, rattles shins, still the sixth tackle, not played out, Caesar, Caesar. Now the kick's through, French gathers it up, and Harry Newman must well, be thinking he had his time again. You've got to... You just can't do that. It's a team game, you're in a position, uh, someone's in a better position, you've got to give it. Forget costing him a try, that could have no. cost Leeds the game there. Yeah. It was, but, again, he should, he should have found the pass last time. That one was you're criminal. Right. You're criminal. right, Jody. Wigan, breathe a sigh of relief. Hampshire carries it in. O'Neill's here at dummy half. Last play. O'Neill. Smith. How does that affect Harry Smith? Uh, Harry Newman rather for the rest of this game. Milas dropped it but backwards, so that's okay. Here comes Tyndall. Wigan's line is. It's a big, big Good set. Enough. Big set for Leeds this now. Hang on, many sets to play with. Four minutes to go. Remember, Troy levels it. Troy and goal wins it for Leeds from this position. But it is Wigan who have the advantage at the moment. Two, maybe three more sets for Leeds with ball in hand, including this one. Leeds have lost it, Caesar's lost it, Big and have Leeds just lost it in that moment as well. Oh, penalty because Caesar has mouthed off at the referee, and the referee has given the penalty to Wigan. Yeah, big call that. Look, we've seen it a few times with hands in, plays in and around the rook, but that's just a drop there from Aidan Caesar, trying to get play the ball quick, and we're seeing this nearly try again by... Harry Newman, he should have found that it. pass. He had Richie Myler inside screaming for the ball. I'm sure he gave him a spray after that one. But that's a chance gone begging for Leeds. He had to give it. That is a, a match-winning pass. Inside support, under the posts. You slow the clock down, Leeds win. Move, James! Smith. Wigan just settling themselves down here. A couple of minutes to go. Leeds will get the ball back. And if they can survive this attack, they do still have a chance in this game. In this cup tie, do or die. Trap doors opening. Smith back on the inside. Farrell holding off defenders. Has another go. Repeat set. Repeat set here. Yes. Now that's it. Win. Game is over. O'Neill spinning it back. Powell. Powell. Oh, was McDonald tackling the man off the ball? I think it is. It's a penalty. It's going to be a penalty. It is a penalty. Wigan surely will kick for goal. And with the time left, one minute and 30 odd seconds, that might just be that. Yeah, and then hey, McDonald, I think it was then, who just couldn't resist the urge to tackle. Bevan French without the ball, it was open field in front of him there, probably a try if he would manage to catch that one and go in. Nene McDonald had to tackle him without the ball and yeah. gives the penalty away now, which... I think they're going to run it. They're going to run it, they're going to run the clock the wrist, down, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, just the keep wrist. the ball. If they kick the goal and then from the kickoff leads with their short kickoff yeah. prowess getting back, they would still have had an opportunity. So we're going to thinking here, more than the commentator. <laughs> Ellis gets up plays it, they're going to run it down as slow as possible. 50 seconds to go, yeah. Battle takes it in. Going to get your man of the match in just a second. But Wigan trying to get that clock to tick to zero. Smithies tries a mere bonus here, and they might get it from O'Neill, but we're Leeds defenders are there in numbers. He's back 10 yards. 
for the take all the time in the world. So quickly, Jonathan Davis. Man yeah, the we've had a chat with Jordy, and I think Jake Wardle, his best friend, challenge cap Mala March, he's been outstanding. Okay, Try oh. scored a couple of crucial Go. runs in the first half. He's been our man of the match. This is Farrell for Wigan. Ten seconds Move. to go. Last Wigan. play. Wigan. This is going out of play. Yeah. This ball's going out of play. And it comes to Marshall. Marshall is just taunting them and takes the tackle at the end to send the Cherry and Whites into delirium. It's been a top cup tie here today, as we expected. So much to keep us on the edge of our seats. Wigan winners by 18 points to 14. They do take that big step towards Wembley Stadium. Leeds go out. Matty Pete satisfied about the response from his side after last week's implosion against the same opposition. But it's those Wigan fans who are loving the moment here. We're going to get some reaction down there on the field as well. Getting the access that Rugby League allows us. They've just run their blood to water, but I'm sure they're all waiting to speak to John Wilkins and talk about the emotions.